Hello everyone. My name is Akshman Singh. I am from Sri Vaishnav Institute of Forensic Science. Today I am going to explain a topic named as classification of fingerprint. Contents. Introduction. A fingerprint is an impression formed by the frictional ridges present on a human finger. In the earlier models, we have studied that Fingerprint is an individual characteristic. The principles of fingerprints are Every fingerprint is unique. No, fin no two fingers have yet been found to have same rich pattern. A fingerprint will remain unchanged during an individual lifetime. Fingerprints are general rich patterns that can be systematically classified as Arch, loop, and world. History of fingerprint classification. The universally adapted method in most of the countries of fingerprint classification is known as Henry system or Carlton Henry method. In 1896, Inspector General of Police Sir Edward Richard Henry conducted a series of experiments to develop a new system of classification for fingerprints. In this pursuit, he was assisted by two Indian officers, which are Khan Bahadur Azizul Ulhak and Rai Bahadur Hain Chandra Bose. They played a very important and significant part in the development of this system. The original classification system proposed by Henry took consideration of all fingers and their pattern, converted them in form of letters and numbers that could be easily arranged in form of fractions. The 10 digit classification slip is analyzed under the following system. Under the handy system of classification, fingerprints are divided into two classes such as numerical patterns and non-numerical patterns. Primary classification. Primary classification takes country consideration of all 10 fingers. This system is used by FBI to minimize the number of possible suspects. The 10 fingers of two hands are grouped into 5 pairs, pairs in the following manner. As the second part of each pair is taken as numerator, while the first part of each pair is taken as denominator. For the numerical patterns, the table is given. Whenever a finger which have wall pattern is corresponding have a value, but at a time when there is no wall is present in all the 10 fingers, then the obtained value will be zero. So it's not satisfactory as mathematical point of view. So we add a base value of one to the fraction to make it one. The four possible combination of each pair's exhibits are both have non-valued patterns. Second, both have valued patterns. Third is one is valued and another is non valued. Fourth is vice versa of the third one. There are total 1024 combinations possible, which could be represented in a chart known as pigeon chart, having a combination of 32 vertical and horizontally cabinets which stores the information about the combinations of loops and walls of 10 digit in 5 pairs. For example, primary classification is here. In this, right thumb and right ring finger has world pattern. So, they are numerical 
the base value is given. After calculating all the numbers, the result is 9 by 70. Secondary classification. Next division to the primary classification is secondary classification. This is shown in the formula by capital letters representing the basic type of pattern appearing in the index finger of each hand. In secondary classification, we consider index finger of each hand and gives a capital letter according to their patterns. For example, arch is given a capital letter A. Similarly, tented arch is given T. For example, secondary classification value in this right index finger has radial loop. So, R is given and left index finger has ulnar loop. So, U is given. Sub-secondary classification. In this system, the index, middle and ring fingers of right and left hand are analyzed. It can be performed in two ways. First is lettered group method. In this, the fingerprint is given a small alphabetic symbols in sequence of their appearance. Second one is rich counting and rich tracing method. This method is applicable when the lettered group method is not used. Under the method Rich counting is performed for loop to further categorize them into inner, middle and outer category. In case of loop or composite patterns, rich tracing is performed to categorize them into inner, middle and outer types. The following data is given in this slide for both rich counting and rich tracing methods. For example, for example, in this slide, we can see that the right index, middle and ring fingers are outer categories and in denominator, left index and middle have outer category and right left ring finger has inner category. Major division classification. In this system, left and right thumb of hand is considered. This is formed by counting the rich in loop patterns and for ball patterns, rich tracing is considered. The value of right hand thumb is taken as denominator while left thumb is taken as denominator. In case presence of loop to form to perform the Ridge counting, the number of ridge is counted by a arbitrary line joining code to delta to count and hence are denoted as inner, middle and outer types where if the number of ridge are up to 12, it is inner type. If the ridges is between 13 to 19, it is M type or middle type. If the ridges are more than 20. The pattern is outer type. For arch plane, for arches, plane and tented arch will always be considered as inner type as they does not have any ridge count. For walls, the ridge tracing is performed. This is the some rules for the Major classification. First is for scattered fingers. Rule 1 is fully disfigured impressions. The value for rule 1 is take pattern from corresponding opposite thumb. Rule 2 is partially scattered with possible known pattern but inconclusive ridge. The value for this is if the different general pattern count or ridge value assigned. For rule 3, 
partial scattered with inconclusive pattern but possible rich counting and rich tracing value for this is rich counting and tracing for partially scattered thumb with opposite pattern type rule 4 both corresponding thumbs are fully disfigured for the value for this rule is one pattern with the most traced value which is middle by middle or middle type by middle type the second rule for amputated fingers are first rule the if thumbs are amputated pattern from corresponding thumb is taken rule 2 both thumbs are amputated value for this rule is one pattern with the most rich values middle type by middle type rule 3 all fingers are disputed the value is taken as the upper one rule 4 both hands are amputated value value for this rule is footprint are used example of major classification is right thumb value has outer loop and left thumb as middle loop final classification in this classification we consider latest finger of both hands placing them as numerator and denominator respectively in case of world rich counting is performed and in case of loop rich tracing is done example for final classification right little finger has 17 ridges between its delta to core and left little finger has 15 ridges between its delta to core key classification the key classification system involves rich counting of loop and whorl pattern appearing on the right thumb only for the purpose of recording the value key system the rich count is specified following by the pattern type is small alphabetic symbols which were used under the sub secondary system for example the fingerprint is given as pattern type whorl which has 16 ridges between delta and core so the value for the key, key classification is 16 this is the 10 digit classification system table of all the examples we have taken thank you